So then I'm going to be explaining to you how to calculate your science GPA using a spreadsheet, which I've linked in the description. I use the spreadsheet to calculate my own science GPA, and basically the process is very straightforward. You're just going to enter all of your coursework into the spreadsheet, and each class is going to have a category for your grade, and it's also going to have some autofill boxes, which have just been programmed to fill in the GPA for that associated grade and a few other things like credits and that sort of stuff. It will also have a box to check if the class is considered a biology, chemistry, math, or physics course. If it is one of those courses, you'll check the box and it will be calculated into your science GPA. If it's not, you'll leave it unchecked. There's also a separate box for if you're on the quarter system so that it can adjust the credits and those sorts of things. Each year of your college career is also separated so you can look at improvement trends, which is something that AMCAS likes to look at. They like to see some improvement. I've also included a link to the AMCAS website where they describe what actually gets counted in your science GPA because while it is technically called biology, chemistry, math, and physics, there are some classes that you might not think would be counted like neuroscience classes because that doesn't really seem like a specific subset of any of those categories, right? Maybe biology, but you might be unsure. So you should definitely check that out as well to get a clear picture of what is actually counted into your science GPA. If you want to follow me on my journey to becoming a neurosurgeon, you can subscribe. And also, if you just want to show support, because it did take a while to put together this spreadsheet and also this video, you can also like or leave a comment. You could leave a comment telling me whether you think I should grow a beard or not. I've been thinking about that, so that's another option. I'm going to keep this video short. I'm not going to waste your time with a bunch of extra content. That's all I've got for you today.